Thank you, E.J. Leodogu. That was Yul Edoche's response to his second wife, Judy Austin, after she reposted the picture he had initially posted on his page, um, thanking his friends, his family, his fans, and well-wishers for all the condolence messages and all the good wishes he has gotten over the past week following the sad incident that happened to him and his family. Welcome to the Real Show, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, you guys, um, you little cheer actually, um, after the loss of his son, you guys know he took um, time out from social media. His wife, too, May, took time off social media. Even though May is not back yet, you little cheer had actually come out a few days ago to, you know, pay tribute or to write a tribute to his son where he said that he loves his son and he misses him. You get, you know, she shared a story of his last day with his son talked about the last conversations he had with his son before the sad incident so after that happened a few days later he took time off social media again but came out yesterday night to you know post a picture where he came out to tell his fans his friends well wishers thank you because he sees um all the messages i'm sure the whole world actually mourned with this family actually felt so terrible for this kind of bad thing that happened to them and it's very impossible that you literally can reply all the messages he even get even on whatsapp let's even leave instagram and um, facebook and other social media platforms whatsapp even his personal messages i don't think he can reply all the messages that he must have gotten it must be overwhelming so as you know he took to his instagram account and posted a picture where he was um thanking his fans for their love and prayers and judy austin reposted that picture he had posted and actually put up a message this is what she said is a dk you are a great man and great men face great challenges. Your life is in God's hands. Trust that he will lead you always. Remain strong. And this was her repost of the whole uh, mess of his post. And under that post, you can see you later. She said, Amen. Thank you, Ijele Odogu. You guys, get back at it again. Um, sadly, a lot of people had different opinions about this. Some people have said, ah, what's the big deal? Um, Judy Austin is his wife. She can post her husband's picture on social media. She can wish him well. She can mourn with him she can congratulate him so why is this a big deal why are we talking about the fact that somebody's wife um you know see or mourned with him when he was mourning other people are like judy austin you need to calm down you need to respect me edoche you need to um what they call it not talk about this whole situation that you and me have actually been going through yes other people might say um this is the husband's son that passed and um since it's the husband she has a um, right to talk about her husband that she did not post me and she did not talk to me that's given that's a given she didn't post me she didn't talk about me but this whole matter me i'm like judy austin you have your husband's number you have your little chase number you get they posted that picture maybe if she had liked it though and just left the comment under we would have still complained anyway so i feel like at this point uh, judy austin is just in a bad place where there's nothing she does that um people won't just talk about because of the situation surrounding her marriage to you edoche and how that was like a national heartbreak you know this um when this happened to me it was like the whole nigerian women's heart or not the whole of them because some people are actually judy austin's serious fan so like a lot of nigerian women or and men too because there's a men who are like mm, this whole thing it was just unnecessary you know the whole marriage and the way that they went about the marriage so i think that this is a cross judy has to carry for a very long time sadly sadly or maybe um ideally because i'm a, this is may is carrying a cross because of you and you little chase decision may is carrying a cross of um polygamy across of you know um her husband's decision so i feel like judy is in a place where she thinks that she doesn't care they will always talk about me so i don't care but that's not a very good place i think that if you ask me what she should be doing right now is avoid these kind of situations things that make you you and me be in the same sentence avoid it as much as possible i know that you feel like you don't care people always talk about me whether i do this or not and you might have friends like sarah martins cheering her on you know making her feel like see odogu and sad you jello odogu he acknowledged you again and that acknowledgement actually goes to show that her and you are still in a very good place from everything that we can see you guys this matter like i always say is just to put made in your prayers and just hope that you know she's able to go through these hard times as much as possible because you and judy are not backing down and from everything we can see <laughs> this marriage is still happening you know i know people many people are out there saying oh the marriage is not happening anymore but sadly 
you know it's still happening from everything you can see he just called her ijele odogu again after how many weeks of not calling her ijele odogu but let me know your thoughts are in the comment section guys do you think she should have post reposted that post or just let it be share with me in the comment section it's the real show i thank you so much for watching if you like this video you know what to do like it share it subscribe follow us on our facebook page i'll see you in my next video Bye bye